Hi, this is Javier from ViewSonic, and we've been getting a lot of inquiries from teachers on how to have a portable distance learning setup. Now, this is a way for teachers to take all their devices and go anywhere and have a lesson anytime. So this is my recommendation, and this is how I set up my distance learning. So here I have my laptop, and today we're gonna to do a live streaming session. So I have my live stream set up, and you can see the live stream, and this is what the students will see. On one side, I will have the comments where students can actually give me feedback, ask any questions, and also I have my notes so I can know what the notes for the lessons are. Now, you can use the camera from your laptop. However, I do recommend using an external camera so the students can really see you and hear you. Next, for the whiteboarding session, what I'm gonna use is the digitizer whiteboard. Now, this device is so portable, it's easy to carry, and it is so accurate that for teachers that really rely on a lot of writing, erasing, and drawing, they can use this device. And you can draw great shapes, you can write a lot of contents for formulas, or just paragraphs, or sentences. Next, I'm gonna show you how to set everything up. The first thing I'm gonna do is connect my camera. Now my camera uses a USB cable, so I'm gonna connect the USB cable to my laptop. Now once my camera is set up, next I'm gonna connect my digitizer whiteboard. My digitizer whiteboard has two options. One is HDMI cable or USB-C cable. In this case, I'm gonna use the USB-C cable and connect the cable to my laptop. Now that I have all my hardware connected and set up, I'm just gonna do some simple configuration. So first thing I'm gonna do is right click and go to display settings. Once I have display settings open, I'm gonna scroll all the way down where it says multiple displays and on the drop down menu select extend these displays. And then I'm gonna scroll up, make sure I have both my screens where I want them once that is in place, close the window. Then, I'm gonna open my live stream. And, I'm gonna open my notes. Third, I'm gonna open my digital whiteboard software, my view board, and drag it to my digitizer whiteboard. And once I have these done, I'm ready to start a lesson.